Christmas brings happiness. Christmas brings cheer. A spirit unlifted as the blessing season is here. Hello, welcome to Red FM and this is your crazy boy Zach with you, wishing you all a Merry Christmas. Well folks, Christmas as we know is the tenderness for the past, courage for the present and hope for the future. It's a very special day which teaches us to stay positive even when days are rough, keeping calm and hoping for the storm to pass. Well, as Christmas is all about the joy of giving, to usher the joy spirit of the season. So Red FM brings to you the true essence of Christmas through music. So ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Shilong Chim Choir who are here to give you a musical extravaganza. So guys, welcome to Red FM. Thank so you. my first question to you, Kong Dana. How does it feel to be the proud winners of the sixth World Choir Games? And not only that, the winners of India's Got Talent season two and so many winning feathers actually on your cap. How does it feel? Um, proud moment, isn't it? Surely. But uh, I would say that we did have opportunity and we took the chance. Initially, we, we, we weren't even interested in, you know, competing for India's Got Talent. But I don't know, I think we just decided to give it a try. And then um, uh, God blessed it. It was one of those times where I, I believe that anybody, um, you know, Shillong is full of talents, actually. If any one of those got that opportunity, I'm sure they would do just as well. And I'm, I'm glad that we got those opportunities. So, but William, you know, the choir started way back in 2001. Mm -hmm. And under the guidance of the director, founder, Padmashri Shri Neil Nokendri, throughout the years we have seen you guys performing like you've been through from one place to another you've been traveling a lot mm -hmm. so can you tell us which cities you've been through and all ex your experience well i think uh, each city each place that we go to whether it's in india or the rest of the world it's always a different experience um, we've been to zimbabwe for example you know uh, bulawayo and harare and that was a fantastic experience, unforgettable. Russia, whether it's in the US or in Canada or in London, of course, and then all over Asia, whether it's China, whether it's Korea, whether it's Malaysia, uh, we've been all over. But I think we are very fortunate that we were able to travel and do what we love at the same time. And one thing that has, because you mentioned mentorship just now, you men mentioned guidance and yeah. Uncle Neil has been the core of the reason why the choir is still together, you yeah. know, because one thing that traveling can do is it can distance us not only from home, but can distance us from one another as well. Yeah. And so many uh, bands break up on tour. Yeah. But uh, because we've the, the groundwork and the foundation is already so strong, and maybe one day, Zach, we can sit down together and talk about what the yeah. groundwork <laughs> is. But for now, let's just leave it as a mystery, what the yeah. groundwork is. But because that has been done, you know, therefore it makes the traveling also all the more wonderful and experience absolutely amazing. Yeah. So Jessica, this one's for you. You know, Shilong Shimbe Choir has performed at the Rashtrapati Bhavan in front of the then US President Barack Obama. And not only that, even at the GM Awards. So a little bit from your end, uh, uh, your experience about it. Uh, I think 2010 was a huge year for us. Mm -hmm. A lot happened apart from India's Got Talent. Before that, we had uh, the World Choir Games and also, of course, meeting the Obamas, which was a huge deal for us. We That was the last thing we'd ever expect from all the wonderful groups and talents that are around the whole country. To be the few picked for this very special occasion was a huge honor. So. Um, we were over the moon about it. So, but William, you know, it's been years that now we are here. You, you came back to the music scene with the brand new album, especially this Christmas. So a little bit on this album, you know, Come Home Christmas. It includes a variety of instruments, languages. Can you please tell us, tell us something about it? All the challenges, the excitements, everything. We came back to the music scene, Zach, we were always in the music scene. Um, talking about the album, now where do I begin? Where do I begin? Uh, first of all, Uncle Neil and the choir, yeah. we don't like to do things normally. 
We're, oh, yeah. I won't use the word abnormal, but we're <laughs> extraordinary. <laughs> Let's put it like that. And anything ordinary, we feel very sad about. Okay. You know, we want to give something different, something that redefines, something that's challenging. And one thing we have to thank the pandemic for is the fact that we are at home in the most busy season. Otherwise, it would have yeah. been, you know, winter, we would have been traveling all over the world. But here we are in Shillong and we wanted to take full advantage of this. And it's been almost 10 years since we did our last album. Yeah. And the last album, whether it was 10 years, 9 years, it was that forgettable. I don't even know when it was. It yeah. was really just another Christmas album. But this time, the Kwai has come a long way, whether musically, spiritually, and we wanted to do something that was significant, something that created a noise or a yeah. buzz. And uh, we were thinking about it. There was a lot of contemplation that was going on. And then one fine morning, Uncle Neil said, ha, I got it. Let's take back Christmas from the West. Yeah. Let's take it back from America and let's put it where it belongs. And that's the Middle East. Yeah. So that's where the inspiration came for the different languages, the Middle Eastern languages, ancient Aramaic, which is a dead language which yeah. Jesus Christ himself spoke. I mean, what an honor to have been to have sung in that language. Contemporary Aramaic, which is again a different dialect from ancient uh, Hebrew, Farsi, Urdu, Khasi, of course. And people yeah. asking, but why Khasi? You know, it's, yeah. it's a Middle Eastern themed album. Well, they forget the name of the album is Come Home Christmas. We, we're not celebrating Christmas in Israel. Yeah. We're celebrating <laughs> Christmas in Shillong. And uh, we'll sing in our own language, which is Khasi. So um, it's been an ab absolutely revolutionary album, I think. That's why so many people are interested and intrigued in the whole thing. Was it hard like for you, uh, for the choir members, especially to learn? for the language you know, it's bit like uh, some of us this is like from a layman perspective you know yeah. when they think about learning uh, different language especially like like me you know i know english but a little bit of hindi but if i have to learn hindi i have to really focus on it it'll take time mm -hmm. so you guys have been singing through it like you've been you know the medley the mixing of languages you've mm -hmm. been doing this like for years now mm -hmm. so was it hard for you especially experiencing with the uh, different language um, one of the strong points or one of the USPs of the choir, I would say, is the fact that we sing in different languages. I was just counting today. We sing in about 30 different languages. 30? Yes. 30 different languages from all over the world. Uh, because if you want to reach out to an audience, sing in their language. That's what we do. We go, we go to Chennai, we sing in Tamil. We go to Russia, we sing in Russian. We go to China, we sing in Cantonese. Yeah. And uh, but it's, it's a wonderful experience. So we already have those sharpened ears and those sharpened senses when it comes to languages. Yeah. But I'll tell you, one experience was singing in ancient Aramaic and singing the song, God rest ye merry gentlemen. That was grueling. We were sitting there by the fireside with our speakers and the song, we slowed it down by like 80%. 80%. We slowed it down and the guy who was narrating it, uh, he's from Switzerland, he's one of the yeah. few people in the world actually who speak ancient Aramaic. He sounded like there was, you know, like something was wrong with the, you know, like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> like something was really bad with the cassette player. Yeah. But we had to do that. So we get the precision. If you want anything in life that is precise or precision and perfection, if you want something of high quality, you have to go through the grueling process of things like slowing it down or your scales or, you know, then from 80%, we sped it up a little bit to 70%, 60%, 50%. Then we reach 100%. Yeah. And after reaching 100%, we went even faster to 110%. So that, you know, we're trying to catch up. Then we yeah. bring it down back to normal speed. Then it settles down much better. So learning the languages was, I think, one of the most challenging parts of the album. And of course, there each and every single song has a lot of depth in it. It has uh, the word of God in it. So we have to make sure that we're in the right spirit while singing this song. Otherwise, yeah. there's no, no point us being all, you know, uh, yeah. living another life and then singing spiritual songs. Yeah. The, the, the listeners as well will not be able to relate to it. Yeah. So that was also one of the, the parts we had to focus on. So how many days and how many weeks like does it take for you to prepare, you know, about the languages that you, that, you know, that, that includes in this album? We actually did it quite fast, um, unexpectedly. People won't, might not believe it. It just took us a few days actually. But because I was saying today as well, when God puts his hand on something, doors just open. Doors just open. People just started helping us out from random corners that we never expected, you know. And um, I think for us to record the album took about five or six days. That's it. 
Five or six days. That's it to record the whole album. I mean, we literally ate and slept in the studio. Well, guys, I think it's time now that we enjoy some awesome performances by the Shillong Chili Choir and the unique musical arrangements, powerhouse vocals, and sense irresistibly combined with mesmerizing carols. So take it away. Let's enjoy. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh Oh, the fields we go laughing all the way Bells on bobtail ring making spirits bright What fun it is to ride and sing sleighing song tonight Ladies and gentlemen, and all of you viewers and listeners of Red FM, this is the Shillong Chipper Choir, here to spark up your holidays. Mm, a day or two ago, Hallelujah. I thought I'd take a ride, and soon Miss Fanny Bright was seated by my side. Hallelujah. The horse was lean and light, Miss Fortune seemed his lord. He got into a drifted bank and then we got up
Thank you so much Shlong Chimigwaya for that wonderful performance and especially you know for fostering the true spirit of Christmas through your infectious musical, musical notes and the musical extravaganza shall be memorable for years to come so about William a little bit about the you know about the future plans of the choir well uh there's not much of a break actually we wish there was more of a break but um we have to make hay while the sun shines and the first two major projects is with uh, well, actually the two albums with two major record labels uh, more details as it unfolds then we're also doing an ep uh, of four panar songs four panar songs yes <laughs> which we want to release very soon and on the 21st of january which is of course megalaya day we'll be releasing a kasi song called nganya e japa ko riba e jonga written by uncle neil and uh, commemorating the 10 years of winning india's got talent and that's a song that the choir sang actually in the semi finals of india's got talent so um, that is there then of course there is the major work which is solingam uncle neil's 3 hour long opera which he's written in khasi and that was to be unveiled in 2020 but of course we know what happened in 2020 yeah. so we're looking forward to it being unraveled in 2021 it's a fantastic piece of work so we're looking forward to that We are talking about this come home Christmas. We are already excited about it. Now we are looking forward for these beautiful performances, beautiful songs that are coming up. And talking about performances, how do you feel about your performance here at Red FM? Well, I think you guys are a step a step ahead. We didn't just. do a radio interview <laughs> did we it was not just audio you made us perform as well in front of camera and i think you have uh, a wonderful team behind you which really knows and is moving with the times because radio has its space but then it also has to expand and we are glad to be part of that expansion and we we love anyone that thinks out of the box and thinks differently so it's been it's been lovely performing for red fm and uh, 
to, to all your listeners and your viewers here is wishing you once again a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And to all of you music lovers out there, thank you for joining us and here wishing you a Merry Christmas once again. And may you defy all odds with the true spirits of joy, music and happiness. Spread love and lend a hand and be there for people who need you the most because Christmas is all about loving and caring. And for the best of music, stay with us on Red FM. Merry Christmas to every one of you. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you.